Well, Anthony, one 0 defeat today against Doncaster Rovers. Just your thoughts on the game overall? Yeah, obviously, hugely disappointed. Um, you know, if there was anyone looking like winning, it was it was going to be us. We had the better chances, um, but again, the set piece has undone us. Um, you know, we no, there's no excuses. We've we've got to be better from set pieces. It's got to be a desire to stop your man from, from scoring and ultimately that's what's undone us. I think that's the only chance they really had. I don't think Jock has had any, if, if anything, has not had many to save, if anything. I can't remember any you know, great saves that he's had to make. So, um, you know, we've had, a, we've had some good chances, maybe just a bit, bit more clinical and we, we maybe go on, to win, go on and win the game easily. But no excuses. At the end of the day, we've lost the game and we're hugely disappointed. The manager we just spoke to before, he mentioned desire to win these balls at set pieces. You mentioned the same word, desire, there as well. Yeah, well, that's that's all it is. It's it's just you against your man and who wants to come up on top and win the ball. That's all it is. But listen, you're going to lose your man from times to set pieces, or your man's going to get the you know get the jump on you and head the ball. Listen, it's but like you said, there's got to be a desire to stop your man, no matter how what way you do it. I mean, I had someone marking me in, in the box and all he did was foul me, to be honest with you. He didn't even look at the ball once. All he did was want to stop me from, from getting on the end of it. He's doing it. Maybe he's going the wrong way about it by just looking at me and pulling me down. But at the end of the day, he's doing what he can to stop the ball from going in the net. And, you know, maybe we have to start doing that. Maybe we have to stop being so nice and defending set pieces properly. And by saying that, I mean, we're trying to defend and not give away penalties or give the ref any excuses. Whereas teams that we're playing against are absolutely, you know, grabbing hold of us and pulling us down and all sorts, and referees not doing nothing about it. So yeah, maybe we just uh, a bit more, you know, I don't know what the word is, maybe a bit more nasty and horrible from set pieces we need to be. You mentioned there players grabbing you, pulling you down. The goalkeeper surely brought down Greg Lee in the first half. Somehow no penalty, and it would have been a sending off as well. I'm sure that must be really annoying. Oh, it's, honestly, it's. Yeah, I'm not one to slate referees because they've got a difficult job as it is, but I was right behind it. And honestly, if that if that was in the Six Nations in rugby, it's an unbelievable tackle. But at the end of the, you know we're playing football, and he's got two arms wrapped around him because he knows he's made a mistake. And Greg has got nipped in front of him, and he's about to tap it in an empty net, and he's wrapped both arms around him and dragged him down. It's a sending off and a penalty. There's no two ways about it. I'm not even a bit hesitant on that. I'm 100 percent, and I'm sure. If the referee gets a chance to look look at that back, you know, I, I think he's going to be slightly embarrassed that he's got that one wrong. But you know, there's been a few of them this season where decisions have not gone our way. But hopefully, that will even itself out throughout the course of the season. But like you said, hugely annoying and disappointing because it's a totally different game. If, you know, if, if that goes in the back of the net and it's a red card. Bit of a sticky one now. As captain, Tuesday at Crew comes a big game for everyone. Every game is a big game, but. Uh, it's about bringing some leadership to the fore, isn't it, for everyone? Yeah, of course. We've just said it in the dressing room there. You know, we've, we've, we've got to bounce back and bounce back quick. It's it's real fine margins that are from winning the games and from losing the games, and that's what it's been the last few games. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, we, you know, we weren't at our best, and we come out and win the game because we were solid and we, you know, we we score an own well, it's an own goal really. We score from, and then on the opposite end, we we concede set pieces last week. We conceded set piece today. And like I said, it's just fine margins. But as you said, everyone's got to stand up now and, and be counted for. No one's going to hide. No one's going to, you know, look to be look look for a way out. It's a very early days in the season, of course it is. But it's important that we try and put it right now as as, as quickly as possible. And that's as a whole squad, not just one, two, three players. Um, whole squad, staff members, everyone's going to be doing everything they can to put it right.